Welcome everybody to the Let's Build a Network series. So let's first have a look what we're going to do in this series. So the series name is Let's Build a Network and that's exactly what we're going to do. We got a lot of questions on how, and how to build a simple network. So we want to provide you with a series of videos that start from scratch and that delivers you an end network. Probably this will not be ready for the big, big enterprises, but more focusing on small, medium business, but maybe you can get some ideas. What are we doing here? As you can see, so let's, let's, let's look on the slide at the end story we're going into. As you can see on this slide, you can see the two blue devices and these two blue devices are our edge switches. And this time I take the 3500 and I took the 2920 and within a few seconds, a little bit further up in this video, we're going to have a look at the physical picture of these devices. Then the green device is a 3810 and this is our core router. And as you can see, we're going to connect every switch with dual cables back to the core switch. And we make sure that there's virtually one connection for redundancy and for performance. As we did this, we're going to add some VLANs. And the VLANs we're going to add is a management VLAN. As you can see here, it will be management VLAN, will be VLAN, VLAN ID 100, and we'll be having the sub mask 192.168.100.x slash a net mask of 24. And as you can see, every uh, this will be a completely untagged VLAN. I get back to that, what tagging and untagging means later. But if you go here, you can see we're going to add another VLAN, and this other VLAN will be student uh, VLAN. So what we do is we're simulating a little bit of a, like a, like an education kind of environment. That will be the, sub, uh, the subnet 192.168.200.x24. And as you can see, we are using tag ports and untag ports. So the edge devices, the blue devices, will be devices that are connecting the end users. So that can be access points also, it can be IP phones, but it can also be a laptop or a server, or what I mean is a desktop uh, connected to this kind of device. That will be then be done in the untagged ports. The tech ports we have here, it, we are using the tech ports here because now out of a sudden we're going to use more and more VLANs. So we need to be able to separate the VLANs on something. And we do that on the VLAN, VLAN ID. So as you can see on port 47 and 48, we will tag this particular VLAN with this ID so that the other switch can recognize to what VLAN the packet belongs to. The other uh, VLAN we're going to add is the finance VLAN. The finance VLAN will be subnet 192.168.220.x. As you can see, uh, there will also be a particular IP address there. It will be uh, also tech ports. And on the actuate, you will also have untech ports. What you see immediately is that finance is available on the 2920, but not on the 3500. So if these devices want to communicate with each other, they are not in the same subnet, so they need the router. That's where they go to the core device, and the core device can route that packet. And if we want, later on in the future, we can even set some security rules on this one. So in order to give an example of a teacher VLAN, as you can see here with VLAN ID 210, as you can see that we have this VLAN on every switch. So we have it on the 3500, 2920, and we have it on the, uh, on the core switch. And if devices in the teacher VLAN on the 2920 wants to communicate with the teacher VLAN in the 3500, they don't need to be routed. They can just be switched because they are in the same VLAN. There is one other VLAN we're going to add, and that's the services VLAN. And the services VLAN you can use, for example, to place your ClearPass server in, uh, to place your DHCP and DNS or Active Directory, uh, so your infrastructure services in. And as you can see, that VLAN is only available on the core switch because we are going to use DHCP helper and other kind of functionality to reach that particular VLAN for this infrastructure services. So this is the end network we're going to build in this particular service. What we're going to do now is we're going to have a look in the steps we're going to take. We're going to have configure the management VLAN on the console. Yeah, still all plain console we're going to use here, but it is important to get switch and connectivity going. Then we will cable the network but we start with single cables. Yeah, because it makes it easy. Then we're going to upgrade the switches. Also good to show that and make sure we are using on the latest supporters uh, firmware. We're going to 
configure multiple instance spanning tree. Although we don't have a loop, we also don't want somebody to create a loop. So we want to have layer two protection there. The next uh, step will be to configure student, violence, services, and teacher VLAN. We're going to enable IP routing on the core switch. We're going to configure DHCP helper addresses on the switches. And we, in the last step, we're going to configure link integration. And after that, we will stop the video series because I think then we have set up this network. Of course, there will always be security or ACL, a lot of kind of functionality that we can build in, but this is where we want to stop the video series and maybe we can later on build more redundancy with two core switch in separate videos. This will not all be done in one video. We're going to make a series of this, so multiple videos, short videos that you can work with us and build us up. So let's get started. So let's first have a look at the physical switches. As you can see here, the top switch, the black one is a 3810 amp. And on this channel, I already did made a video once about a hardware overview of this switch. The 3810 amp will be used as a core switch in our for this series in our tiny simulated educational environment. Then the middle switch is a 2920 and the 2920 will be used as a net switch in our environment. And then an older model on the bottom is a 3500 we were also going to use this as an ad switch. So this concludes this video. In the next video series, we are going to first connect with the console cable via the switches and make sure we're going to connect the, the, uh, the management VLAN and we're going to connect the cabling. And then if you like this video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video and make sure you leave comments if you have any questions or you want to keep us going on other videos. Thank you very much. Hope to see you next time.